Hey, what's up, my friends? Thanks for stopping in again at Ask a Guitar Pro. I'm Jake. Today's demo is going to be of the Digitech Time Bender musical delay pedal. Uh, this is a pretty cool pedal. You'll find on this particular device there are a lot of bells and whistles, so it takes a little bit of time to sort through it, but you'll definitely uh, like the results if you become familiar with this pedal. Uh, quick gear breakdown, I'm playing a Strat through a PV 50 watt Valve King, and right now I am on the neck pickup. So let's talk a little bit about the buttons on this pedal. Uh, fairly straightforward, you have the delay type over here and there's a lot to offer here. You have a digital delay, and I know this is tough to see. There's an analog delay which is more like a bucket brigade type of technology and a lot of different types of delays as you go through there. A tone knob so you can fine tune the tone. Right now it's pretty much set with no coloration. You'll find that the tone knob, tone knob can have a little effect depending upon the type of delay you pick. Delay time, pretty straightforward. Right now we're set at .730 seconds. I'm just going to make it easy and set it to one second right now. Repeats, this is pretty obvious. Uh, more repeats, the more uh, dramatic the effect is, the more feedback you get. The multiplier button, we'll get into that in a little bit. The modulation button, you can uh, add a chorusy effect to this delay pedal. The voicing button is very cool in that you can kind of make this delay pedal a combination of a delay pedal and a Digitech Whammy pedal, uh, and I'll get into that. Pattern, this is the pattern of the repeats after the original signal. You have a store button. You can see on here there's four banks. You basically can set up to four banks of your individual user settings. So maybe you've set this thing to where you like four types of delay. Um, you can put these in here. And then the mix knob, of course, this is just the amount of delay level compared to the original signal. So we'll get right into it. So here is the unaffected signal. give you an idea of what some of these delays sound like. Move over to the analog. Turn up the repeats a touch here for the analog delay. head tape. Let's mess around with the delay time just a touch. We'll back it down to five, or I should say half a second. Okay, what I want to show you right now before we move on to the next type of delay really quickly is I want to show you uh, the multiplier button. What this does is it basically can e increase or decrease this, the repeats in a given amount of time. Right now we've got it set for a half a second delay. So if I move it here, it gives you twice as much time for the delay to happen. So let's, let's move back to quarter note.
Makes sense. Okay, and then so on and so forth as you as you move down the line. This is going to be a fraction of what you originally played. I particularly kind of like this effect right here. So, pretty straightforward. Another thing that I want to show on this pedal that I talked a little bit right now is the pattern button. This basically accounts for the number of taps, if you will, that you hear in this particular delay. Right now, of course, it sounds like this. Let's try another setting. There's just a lot of uh, cool ways you could get a delay sound here. Another cool feature on this pedal is you can create your own individual pattern, which I think is awesome. Maybe you have kind of a cool strumming pattern or a delay pattern that you'd like to like to hear. You just hold down the pedal and then it'll go, you won't hear any noise, and then you go ahead and pick your strumming pattern. Let me show you how it goes. That's definitely a cool feature. How many delay pedals out there? I mean, there's tap functions, of course, but uh, a strumming pattern really can be useful, uh, certainly in different types of music there. So we will uh, move this back to a delay time of just a half a second there. All right, so I want to move through some of these different uh, other delays on here. You have a dynamic delay, dynamic analog, and dynamic repeats. Uh, we could go through these, but really what these represent are delay functions that allow you to to have what quote unquote what's called ducking on delay pedals where the signal is reduced while you're playing and then when you stop playing the signal comes up you have a time warp function on here too which is cool as well as a built-in looper now the envelopes interesting too if you've ever played with an envelope before we're gonna go ahead and 
move this back. By the way, when this is all the way counterclockwise, this is without, this is just a standard pattern. Whoops. Okay. So you'll notice once you turn up the repeats and the mix, you'll start to hear the envelope a little bit more. Almost like a tremolo effect a little bit. What I was going to mention on the pattern button, if you have it peeled all the way back here, uh, there's not going to be any other uh, strumming pattern. It's going to be uh, very straightforward. So, for example, if I go back to the delay, the digital delay, you're just going to hear standard delays. Okay. Okay. Obviously, that makes sense here. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you an idea back with this envelope filter really quick. So I think that effect's kind of cool. Of course, you have a, a reverse function on here as well. Cool. Uh, the last thing I want to show you on this pedal is the voicing knob. We talked about this thing being a, a sort of like a whammy pedal. What the voicing knob allows you to do is you is unison. So what it means is you can actually, compared to the original note, have the delayed note be an uh, octave ahead, a uh, third ahead, a third below. So it's it's definitely cool. Like right now, for example, we've got it four lower than the original note. <laughs> effect but I'll move back to the analog here some are not as musical like the fourth guys so thanks for stopping in again at ask a guitar pro just want to thank my friends at uh, universal music as well for hooking me up with the uh, digitech time bender here really appreciate that and um, really a cool pedal a lot of features and benefits of this pedal again take some time to getting used to but there are tons of things you can you can really uh, come up with a lot of different sounds also want to mention on this pedal too there is an input in the back for an expression pedal so you can morph sounds 
I didn't even really get into probably half of the things the pedal, uh, this thing really can do. You also have stereo ins and stereo outs. You can split signals. It's just really a cool pedal. So uh, thanks for stopping in again, everyone. And again, thanks my friends at uh, Universal Music there in Thornton, Colorado. And we will catch you next time. Come see us on the website at www.askaguitarpro.com. Take care, everyone. See ya.